Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and this is a massive day for me. This is the first time I ever got a product before release day. Uh, I haven't even read the NDA yet, so I might want to do that before uploading this video. Uh, but I finally have Raven Rich here. So this is a Ryzen quad core with 8 threads, CPU and Vega graphics. So this is the box. Let's get it open and see what awesome stuff is inside of here. All right, so this is going to be awesome. It obviously is AMD Ryzen, but with Radeon Technologies Vega graphics inside. Only for reviewers, awesome. Um, so in this box, apparently I get the 2400G, so that's the high-end model, and the 2200G, which is more for everyone else. Um, so Ryzen power, Radeon reigns, and you prevail. Awesome stuff. Uh, always, you know, I like a bit of marketing. Um, so Ryzen and Vega once again. Let's get this piece of paper out of the way. More packaging stuff. And there they are. I guess this is the important one. The, the big uh, high-end, top-of-the-line chip. The Ryzen 5 2400G. The box is actually very simple. And it also seems to come with the, uh, the RAID coolers. Let's get this out of the way. So yeah, it actually says that here. So it's a quad-core, 8 threads, 3.9 gigahertz maximum boost with a 3.6 gigahertz base clock. Oh, this is the best part. Oh yeah. There we go, inside here, as usual, you get the cooler. I'm gonna be one of those trolling unboxers who first looks at the cooler and then at the chip. Yeah, I'm a bad person. So this is basically the same um, cooler that you get with every other Ryzen um, CPU. It doesn't come with LEDs, which I think is a positive because it's less wiring. Pre-applied thermal compound, so let's not touch that stuff. And uh, yeah, let's look at the chip itself because, I mean, obviously it's an AM4 chip, but maybe it's special. So here it is, guys. The new Ryzen 5 2400G. It's exact, like identically the same packaging as other Ryzen, but the box is, I think the box is slightly smaller. And then you get some papers that no one's ever going to read, installation instructions that no one's ever going to read, and the chip itself, along with a little sticker. So it looks just like any other Ryzen uh, CPU. Pins are on the CPU itself, not on the motherboard, so be careful with these chips, guys. That's interesting looking, eh? It's just identically the same heat spreader and chip design as, as um, normal AM4 motherboards. So it should drop into all your existing AM4 motherboards as well. But if you don't have one yet, it looks like I have an ITX MSI motherboard here with a B350 chipset. Hopefully it's already updated. Let's have a look at this. And yes, I do like creating a massive mess whenever I'm, un I'm unboxing something. So inside here, we get two SATA cables, Wi-Fi antennas, always handy, a non-color, like just a standard I.O. shield, drivers, a thank you note, no one ever reads this, and then more stuff that no one ever reads. Let's look at the board itself, like, that's the important stuff. Actually looks, looks rather good, doesn't it? So this is the, the B350i Pro AC, so AC Wi-Fi, DDR4 memory support. Um, you get a 16x, I think it's 16x, PCIe lane here, dual DIMM slots, four SATA ports, USB 3.0 header here, so it's not the newest, the newest um, 3.1 Gen 2 header, kind of sucks. Um, it, doesn't really look like it has RGB control anywhere. I don't care. Two fan headers up here. Um, audio and USB 2. Oh, dual RGB fan headers. I was wrong. Dual USB, uh, dual RGB fan headers. Why not? IO looks fairly standard actually. So PS2 combined 
dual USB 2.0s, display port, HDMI port, I guess this is 10 gigabit a second, um, 3.1 ports, normal 3.0 ports, probably gigabit ethernet from Intel because the Wi-Fi is from Intel, actually says that right here, Intel AC, and probably some very mediocre audio because it's an ITX board. On the back, yeah, I was already wondering where the, uh, the M.2 slot was. So at the back there is an M.2 slot. It looks like it's a 4X slot, but I'll have to look at the manual for that. We also get G-Skill Flare X DDR4 designed for AMD stuff. And this is 3200 megahertz memory. It's quite interesting that they include this memory because as far as I'm aware, official support is only up to 2933 megahertz and this is 3200. No RGB on this memory, but who cares? Awesome, I don't actually know how much, how, oh, it's a 16 gigabyte kit as well that you get as a reviewer, awesome. We also have a USB drive, and then we also have the 2200G. Uh, so this is Vega 8 graphics, and then, yeah, that's why I should be a bit more clean when I'm doing stuff. So this comes with Vega 11 graphics and this is Vega 8 graphics. So it's going to be interesting to see what the performance difference is because on the box right here it says the highest performance graphics on a desktop processor. But of course a little denotation there. But this is best in class esports gaming. So it's really interesting to see whether or not this little chip is going to run really high refresh rates on stuff like League of Legends, Dota, Rocket League. Is that an esports style? I think so. I don't really play a lot of esports games, so um, let's also see how it does with PUBG. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my main focus. I'm now going to stop recording and go to the computer store to buy a new case because I don't have an ITX case at the moment. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for the full review. Also, there is Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon so you can support the channel, get better equipment, all that sort of stuff. Linked in the description below. But for now, I'm going to get out to alternate by the, I think I already ordered the Cooltech VR1 tower with glass and all that sort of stuff. Really cool ITX case. So uh, yeah, bye.